Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 155. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to group your backup images as per the log chain. The scripts I'm using, the data files that I'm using are available for free download at db2luwacademy.blogspot.com. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel youtube.com slash db2luwacademy. This is a problem scenario in this suggestion. The problem scenario is I want to provide a way or method by which we can group or bundle the backup images as per log chain. So for example, if you have like somebody gives you like there are different types of backup images, like one is a full backup image, incremental, there could be table space level, there could be table space level incremental, there could be delta. So if they give you some four or five images, and even before you start doing the restore, you want to make sure that all the backup images are of the appropriate log chain or they will propagate from one log chain to the other log chain in a smooth manner then you need to uh, be aware of this thing like there should be there are many ways of doing it so usually if you have good processes uh, built around your backup and restore strategy like you administratively you can do this and achieve this without any issues uh, but in case if there is no special tools available or you're not happy with the automatic automatic handling like db2 should have some kind of automatic handling of if what happens if you use backup images of multiple log chains and i'm not like completely aware of it but the default i would say is to maintain the latest log chain uh, and there are many ways of doing this uh, to, to group or bundle the backup images. The point is in certain cases, the restore does not error, but when you go to the roll forward stage, that time only you will find that uh, I'm not able to roll forward with the existing log files. It's looking for some different log chain, like you, you know those C00 folders, C001, C002, like that it creates a lot of folders and it, it keeps multiple copies of log files. It, it all based upon how you do your backup and restore strategy. So, there might be some special tools which addresses these kind of issues and uh, which I'm not aware of. So I am, th and there could be many ways of doing this uh, by means of special tooling. I am also not aware of that. So I'm giving you a very, very manual, rugged way. Like it's a, it's a very hard way of doing thing. Okay. So I'm not usually suggesting this, but if you know this thing, like it, it is better for the understanding. That's what I'm talking about. So the suggestion is to look for global truncation array or GTA inside your backup image. So how to extract that GTA information? You can use the db2 ck bkp command, but obviously this is going to be like, you know, this, if, 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 see here I'm in my test environment, I'm using what, like 200 MB, 300 MB, one GB, two GB databases. So it's not of a much issue, but if you are uh, using like terabytes of uh, backup image, then this will be difficult. So uh, this is just to understand the concept. And uh, this is, uh, that's why I'm saying there is a disclaimer. It's like, I don't know about the internal machinery of the DB2. So apply due diligence and up and be very, very aware of the size of the image. So if you go and do this in a huge image, a uh, huge size, like of the backup, huge database backup, then you'll find that, wow, this is not going to happen. So you'll find some better methods, okay? But just to make uh, the understanding better, uh, what I have done here is in this virtual machine, okay, let me unlock the screen. And you can see that there are four backup images. Sample is the database name. And zero means it's a full database backup image. And uh, three means it is a table space level backup image. So. I have taken four backup images at different points of uh, time. And uh, what I did was like, I, I use this command db2 ck bkp. Uh, let me check if I have it in the history. Okay, there you go. See db2 ck bkp hyphen a, I give some uh, backup image name and pipe it to more. Okay. So this is why I'm saying like, this is a very, very bad way of doing this. <laughs> And if you go like, I, I just go like this. Wow. Look at the amount of scrolling that I'm doing. So I don't know exactly how to get that global truncation array information up front, or like you can, can you even like, I mean, even DB2 can take this as a feature improvement to the DB2 CKBKP command so that you know exactly what images you want to use. Because if I look at, okay, this is the one, this is where I'm looking at, okay. 
this is the global truncation array so you can see that the log chain id is 2 for that image so what that means is if you say log chain id 2 so which means it is referring to this folder c002 okay so the backup was taken uh, when the archive location is at c002 that's what that that number or that text signifies there okay and uh, let us uh, scroll a little bit down here okay and this is the truncation array that I am talking about. So, um, so this truncation array, this is what the truncation array is. It is a continuity of your, like for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. And these numbers will be there. And it will be keeping on building whenever you take some backup and you take some restore like that. So you can see that, for example, I will show you what I did was for all those four backup images I have taken, say for example, let me zoom a little bit. I don't know how to zoom that. Okay, view. Uh, I don't know. How do I zoom this? Okay, I don't know. Control plus plus. Nope, it's not working. Ha! Huh. How do you zoom? View, side panel, bottom panel, highlight mode. There is no zoom button. Okay, let's not worry about it. So um, this is the sample database, full backup image, database backup image, which is taken at the timestamp 11.54.55. So you can see that the log chain ID was zero and it puts an entry in the zero with the signature and the chain chaining time. Okay, and after that, I have taken a table space level backup image at 12 o'clock. So you can see the, the timestamp 12 o'clock. 32, 12, exactly 12 o'clock, 32 seconds, I guess. And you can see that it creates one more uh, log chain entry. So, so this database is a full database backup image. This is a table space level backup image. So you can see that it increases the log chain and it also puts a timestamp. Uh, this is that log chain, log chain info. So obviously these two images are now compatible. Okay, but if you come here, the log chain two, you can see that the first one itself is again different, right? Six, three, one, two, right? So the second line is different. So which means that this table space backup image is completely different. So if I use this full database backup image, either I should go for restoration of this table space level backup image, or I should go for restoration of this table space backup image. I cannot use both because this is the latest log chain, which is log chain 82. So DB2 will stick with the latest log chain. It will ignore whatever the restore that has happened here. So, so if I try to restore this full backup, use this full backup image and I restore this and I restore this, it doesn't make sense because it is in any case going to override with log chain 82. Okay. It will not consider log chain 81 which is what I'm saying. So uh, in other way, like if you, if you look at in other way, this and this will form like one group or like that is the, the diagram you can see these two backup images from a bundle or if you can use this and this and form a bundle or you can use this, right? Because which is like, uh, if you're using this, even though this is log chain 83, it is a continuation of this backup image, which you can see from the log chaining numbers. Okay, so you can see that, see this, um, this chain time 1764, 62745, which is the same here. And there is another entry 63. So these two things are in the similar log chain. So even if I restore this, and after that, if I restore this is okay, because they belong to the same log chain. Uh, even though the log chain numbers are different, you can see the chaining, actually the chaining timestamps here. And if you go by that, you will not fail. Okay. But you cannot use this image and on top of that, restore this image because it doesn't make sense. Okay. Because you are, it will only take this into consideration considering this is the entire database backup image and it is in the latest log chain. So it will try to stay in the latest log chain. But if you use this backup image and you want to use the table space image, now you got a problem here. So if you use this image, you will be staying in a different log chain. Whereas 
if you use this backup image and this backup image, you'll be staying in a different log chain. So that is what I'm saying. Look at these uh, timestamps, look at this chaining time and the signature numbers and these GPLF numbers and it, it's kind of a sequence. So from this, you can group the backup image and have an idea of whether, um, the, like if you are using this backup image, make sure in log chain 82. So C002, it will refer some log files. If you're using this backup image, make sure that the log chain 83, uh, right? So what, what do you mean by that is like here. So log chain C003, so it will refer to the log files here. Similarly, for that another backup image, this sample.3 log chain 82 means it will refer to C002, which is this folder. Similarly, if sample three, this one with log chain 81 means it will refer to this folder. So that will give you a good idea, okay, um, of which log chain or which backup image you want to use. Like uh, it will, you basically what you have to do is take this truncation array and use a continuity of this truncation array, which is more complete in terms of continuity. So which is like this one. So if you give me this backup images, I'll say I'll go with this one because this is the latest log chain and it has a good continuity of things, right? Uh, but unless there is a specific need to go to a different log chain wherein you want to restore the database, maybe that table space has some table which got dropped eventually. So you want to recover. Uh, only in that cases, I will go and restore this back table space level backup image. Otherwise, I'll stick to the latest backup uh, image, which is this one table space level or database level. Okay. Uh, I don't know. So I have tried to give some clarity. I, I am not sure whether I have done this 100%. You let me know if you're able to understand this. And if you have more questions, definitely, please let me know. Uh, that's it. That's it in this video tutorial. See you in the next video uh, tutorial. Until then, bye-bye.